It's one year ago today that the Ford government started a bitter battle with the autism community while making changes that they quickly backed down from. But families aren't forgetting or forgiving. I'm Christina Howarin, and now they've learned that the long-awaited needs-based funding won't be available until 2021. And we're talking about basic skills, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, toileting. These are basic life skills that allow dignity and independence for our children. And this new, uh, this next generation isn't going to have access to that. That isn't the case for Angela's son, 14-year-old Misha, who's been receiving needs-based therapy for years and continues to thrive. He's now reading when specialists told her that was something that was likely never going to happen. What he wanted for Christmas this year was to have needs-based therapy for all his friends, the next generation of children with autism. Last March, the government did a 180 and committed to providing needs-based therapy. The initial promise was the system would be in place this April. But in December, Minister of Children and Community Services Todd Smith said that wasn't likely to happen until sometime in 2021, meaning about 20,000 children are currently receiving no funding at all. And for those that are, not enough. He's gone from having therapy to no therapy. He was one of the kids who were lucky enough to receive a little bit of support in the past year. But due to the changes within the government and the way they are funding agencies, there, the agency had to shut down some of the services for kids who are over six years old. Faith is one of several parents who regularly go to the legislature to fight for better therapy for their children. For my kid, it just means that he's regressing and he's like suffering, he's struggling. He does not understand why he cannot go back to therapy. He does not understand why just because he's seven, and he doesn't deserve to get the supports he needs. Because her son is over the age of six, she gets about $5,000 in annual funding. Funding, she says, that doesn't come near the cost of the intensive therapy Jeremy needs. We're sitting with a 5000 check that I don't know where to spend. I don't, there's places have waiting lists. There's nowhere for us to turn to. Next month, the government says it plans on sending more than 22,000 families on the wait list, all of whom are receiving no funding, an invitation to accept one-time funding between five and $20,000 based on their child's age. That is until they have a needs-based funding program in place. And in a statement adds, the new program will ensure children with autism are supported for years to come. We plan a lot and the fact of not knowing what's coming it just is really hard for us and it's just it's been really 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 hard on our mental health meanwhile families who were used to be under the needs-based funding program under the previous government will continue to be grandfathered into this system now a massive protest is expected here on the legislature lawn by families impacted by autism that's on february 18th the day the legislature resumes